champ. I know what I know what fucked wrestling up, and I know when it stopped being exciting. It stopped being exciting when they went from wrestlers to entertainers. When the WWF turned to the WWE, it all went downhill for me because uh, there was a sense of you know this is shit is tight. This is this this is this is the real manly thing. This is the manly thing, you know. This is the sports. This is, this is our football when there's no football season. This is the basketball when there's no basketball season. This was the the baseball when there's no baseball season. And um, for all us guys who like sports, wrestling was that sport that was year round. And right now, you know, with the WWE and you know then they got the UFC and the UCW and they got all this TNA and TNT and VHS and VCR and DVD no you know what I'm talking about they got all this other bullshit now and like you said you know they got these people going straight to DVDs and you know they got these events that don't show I mean just like Wrestling used to be a fun time out. You go to the to the match and you see the fights and shit. You know what I mean? It was, it was, like you said. You know, you get up when it was on in the morning. You get your ass up in the morning. When it stayed on at late at night, you get your ass up late at night. And not just to sit there and, and root on your favorite wrestler, but just to watch wrestling. You know, you know, your your boy might not even be wrestling, but you're gonna watch wrestling. Cause you never, he might make that appearance and at the side of the ring, you know, and you stare the guy down. And I mean, it's the, the whole aura and feel of wrestling has changed since it has become entertainment. <laughs> that close there. Once wrestling become entertainment, that changed it for me. Because I was entertained before. They had me entertained when when the Undertaker fought his brother Kane or, or when he met Kane or remember the fake Undertaker and the real Undertaker and one was this and remember that little gruesome little fat bastard he used to have with him and I mean Jimmy Hart I mean uh, oh I saw Bobby the Brain Heenan wrestling on YouTube and it tripped me out I always thought he was a manager that is how lame I guess I was with the wrestling game I used to watch you know the Free Birds and the Von Erics and shit, but I never remembered Bobby the Brain Heenan and the Heenan family. But they still have that great classic wrestling, but you gotta look at it on YouTube. You know, they don't have it on at night. Or you might see the pay per view special or when this was or once back then or greatest wrestlers of WWE history and shit like that. But like you said, a little ass ain't never heard nobody's videos. In saying that, you know, I, I come watch you for the wrestling. But if you're going to be putting Pinky on like that, man, and remixing the way she looked, I mean, it's like, damn, man, I'm like, what has happened to the champ? You know, but the champ is still there. The champ is still on the other end making the great videos. And you, you are the champ. So, let me tell you something, man. So far, the year might have started off slow for you, but it'll pick up. There's got to be some dumbass shit or some special guest they going to have come in wrestling. And, you know, and remember Dennis Rodman? No, remember when Carl Malone did it? I mean, um, the whole scope of our sport has changed. You know, Hulk Hogan, The Rock, even Kane, uh, Stone Cold. Um, what's the other guy? Once Hollywood take them, it's hard to get them back. And did you see how skinny The Rock was in that one movie, The Playbook? The boy was skinny. No rage. No rage. No roid rage. He was skinny. Um, I got to go pick up my son from school. I got one thing to say, champ. Don't let him up until you hear that third slap. You understand what I'm saying? Don't let him up until you hear that man say three. And then kick him one more time while he's down. Because that's how wrestling is. That some bitch ain't going to get up faster than I am. Because I'm going to kick him one more time while he's down. So um, let me tell you, man. You keep on doing these great videos. Because your videos have never been mediocre. Your videos are never average. Because you put time into them. That's why I call you the champ. 
Cause ain't nobody held you down till I heard that three yet. Shit, <laughs> nobody held you. <laughs> See you later, champ. Oh yeah, you've been tubed.